Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini, where we talk about spiritual fitness, wellness, growth, the law of attraction, manifesting your dreams into reality, and life, love, all good, good things. Today, I'm going to be doing a message on Twin Flame Collective as it resonates for masculine energy, a, a predominantly channel masculine energy. Not sure why. Um, always been that way. So I'm going to be channeling from a masculine perspective what's in the energy um, as of the moment, in their heart space as of the moment. And if they could say anything to the beautiful feminine energy, what would it be? And yeah, so I'm going to get started. I do four cards, four being my birth number. Um, I let the cards fall out. The cards always resonate with the energy. I strictly do it out of entertainment purposes for myself and pictorial vision, I guess, visionary purposes, um, just so you can see the beauty of the, and the dynamic of how these cards fall. Everything I do, I, I do in here. And I been I have I mean, thousands of books and books and books of messages. I'll let you uh, figure out from what source. And that was my guide on my journey of Twin Flame while I was in separation. So I'm going to get started. Oh, a couple of other things. If you, you know, like a copy of these beautiful cards, just go to the Etsy stores and my about on YouTube channel. Um, you can order them there. And if for any personalized messages, feel free to send me an email and all the information is there. So with that being said, I'm going to get started with a masculine energy and it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. This masculine is morphing into the best version of themselves. Um, uh, you know, if, if you're not new um, and you've been watching for a little while, you know that they went through some huge storms, some dark nights and some tower moments. And with through all, of, all the, the darkness, there comes an increasing amount of light, aha moments. Um, you realize the lessons that, you know, you were required to learn and all sorts of good things. One thing I love, I love this card, this card is it is very, very, I want to say, and a very important element on this beautiful journey of love and truth. Two things, well, a few things with the truth card or the, you know, the message here is we are meant to come into our true authenticity, our true selves, remove all of those false layers and come into, again, our truth, our true authenticity, and come into our inner guide and our, you know, higher self, however you resonate. There's so many theories out there. Um, you resonate with the theory that works closest to your heart. There is no right or wrong. There's no Twin Flame Academy University. Um, this is how you resonate um, the love in your heart. And one, one of the things is when you unravel all of the rubbish and just pure garbage that surrounds your aura or your orbit, you do come to truths. And you come to the truth, the masculine, um, as they ascend, um, they shed this denial, okay? And the denial is the, the inability to reconcile that love in the heart um, and denying their feminine energy, the love that truly is in their heart. But it's very difficult for the masculine to reconcile it because it's very ego-based. And it's like there's no way um, they feel the same way. That That is the diarrhea of the mind. And sometimes that is what is the driving force of this journey. There's so much more, but as they ascend um, and get to higher consciousness, they come to the truth that this is truly a sacred union. And it, and it is so beautiful. And what I love about this whole message is this crown chakra here. And the crown chakra is located at the top of the head. It governs the pineal gland, the upper brain. When developed, it brings us knowledge, wisdom, understanding, spiritual connection, and bliss. And it is so, so beautiful. And um, I, I, I'm gonna go to this right here. I normally do this at the end, but this beautiful card fell out and it says, spirit has a plan. So it totally resonates with the crown chakra. And, you know, spirit does have a plan. 
spiritual connection, which is the ascension here and the sacred union. It's so, so, so beautiful. I love this message. This masculine is truly, and it, de it also depends on what collective you're at. I feel like there's different, um, different waves, twin flame waves. So some of the masculines are, you know, ahead. Um, it depends on what collective you are. I can't tell you which collective you are. You got to come to that within yourself and realize that not everything on every message will resonate. Take what does. Um, but I want to go, I want to go here. Um, this is very, very important too. So angel balance to me represents so many things. So your connection, regardless of whether you visually see it or not, is divinely protected. Um, by God, source, universe, um, however you resonate. I resonate with God personally, and I did on my journey, and that is who I feel like I was speaking to and vice versa. God is within us all. You get to that when you get to the ascension. We are God, um, all of us, but universe, however you divine, however you, however you resonate. Um, but there is this divine I want to say um, energy that is helping both of you get to that harmonious balance within yourself and peace. Um, I feel like sometimes you navigate this journey in chaos and it's constant chaos. Um, and it's that, I want to say that yearning and that longing for that physical embrace. Um, and we just have to get to the pure essence of who we are and that is pure self-love. And I said, as I said, chaos sometimes is, it leads, it leads us in this chaotic journey because it truly is chaos because most of it is not known. And I'm here um, to help you, truly. Um, that is my mission in life, is to help um, others restore their faith, the unconditional love, and get on the correct pathway to themselves. There's a lot of, um, I wanna call them parasites. There's a lot of false prophets. Um, there's just a lot of out there, you know, and they're, they're steering you in the wrong direction. If you've come here, great. Um, I always say it's not about the quantity of viewers, it is the quality of viewers and subscriptions and soul tribe. And I'm so, so grateful for all of you. But what I feel, and I had this message come to me the other night, is the ones that come to this, this beautiful channel are the ones that are coming to the truth. And I'm, so, and I'm so happy for you, I truly am. Because everything I do, I do for your beautiful, beautiful souls. So even though there may not be hundreds of thousands of followers, it is the content and of, of the followers and the subscribers. And I feel that you are part of this Twin Flame 144. So kudos to you. Um, I had to say that because I, I, I did get that message the other day. Um, healer of the ages. So I wanna talk about the healing for a moment. Um, when, you, when you come into each other, um, you invoke or you, I want to say, start this healing journey within. You do it to each other. And it's involuntary always. Um, you're meant to heal. You're meant to restore and come back into your purity and your innocence. That's how we're meant to navigate our journey of life. Our journey of life is never meant to bring us to trauma and live life of trauma. It's meant to bring us to unconditional love. And you are disciples of unconditional love. And what a blessing that is. And you, you, you invoke this healing. And I want to say it's a lifelong journey, you know, because you, you, can, you can get to the, you know, the, the bliss and the spiritual connection and all the wisdom, but then you could be um, just like taking in low vibrational energy. It could be something as simple as your neighbors, for example. They could have all this negative low vibration and just by the sheer um, shining light that you are an empath, you take that energy on and it takes you on a tailspin 
It truly does. And then you get, you know, sometimes that that healing or that beast within resurrects. So you you do wonderful things for each other. Um, I feel like the masculine, some of them were stuck um, in their ego, but they've they've jumped onto the path of healing and and the trauma. One thing I will say is that even like because I'm back in physical harmony with my beautiful beloved soul, even when you come back into physical embodiment of each other, there's still intense triggers, and that is you are meant to complete the healing process within each other. I was trying to um, articulate the mirror soul. Um, I have it written down. Uh, can't, I can't get it <laughs> right now, but I think I'm going to do like something specific on the mirror soul and what that entails. But long, the long and skinny of it is, is when you look at your reflection in the mirror, you're actually seeing your twins. I know visually you're seeing yourself, but the, the trauma and this mirror soul, you almost take on that trauma. You take that trauma on to heal. It's a burden. And sometimes if you rush things, it can dry up the soul instead of condition the soul. So just be careful. Um, I always say, you know, if your gut is telling you not to reach out, don't. That's 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 God. It's protect. It's your protection. But you d definitely do heal each other, and I love it. Um, this this here a man holding a coin. This is very significant to me because coins. It's it's not always about um, a piece of paper with a symbol on it or a coin. Um, that that measures the value of our worth. Our worth is so far. Um, it, it's, it stems so far deeper than just trying to say that, you know, I'm the richest person in the world. Um, it's not about money. It's about soul richness and worthiness. And the, this, this man is holding his coin because they've come to the truth of their worth. And they're healing, you know, some very deep-seated wounds as it relates to self-worth. And they see the value in themselves. And it's so liberating um, to the soul to free and free, I want to say that beast um, and just come into who you truly are meant to be. We're not meant to navigate our, our journey here on earth uh, with a sense of worthiness. And when you come into each other, you instantly restore the worth in each other. But then when you go in, in physical separation, you start questioning that you're meant to heal that on your on your own. Um, so when you come into each other, you both have that value. Um, when you feel unworthy, you can do some pretty horrible things um, sometimes. So they're coming into that, and it's so beautiful. Um, I love this card, and I love this card. Um, Divine Matrix, to me, is, the, and it's ironically number 44. <laughs> um, four is my number, and always, well, it's like 444, actually, but... Um, divine matrix is, I, I want to say this spiritual bliss, this connection, this, um, just, it, it's so divine. And one thing that it, it, matrix sometimes is something that you can get caught in. Um, and I feel like our souls here that inhibit, um, our earth or world at this present moment, I feel like sometimes we are in a divine matrix. Um, of just pure lies. I won't get into that right now, but you'll come, the, the masculine has overcome the, the matrix that they put themselves in and they've come to some very, very beautiful truths. I love this card, Close Encounters. You're going to have a close encounter with your uh, masculine or feminine, however it resonates, and you might even, not even be cognizant of it. You, you, you and, or aware. But you, you feel their presence. You feel their energy and you feel their physical presence. If you feel them very, very strongly that they're close by, chances are they are. I can't tell you the number of times I felt that. Um, it was crazy. And um, I feel like the, these resonate with one another. I plan on communicating with you very soon. It, it comes to this truth. It comes to this knowledge. It comes to this wisdom. And it's the restoration of that um, ego and and realizing that maybe the feminine feels this, the same way as I do. But believe it or not, there's a lot of doubt on the masculine side as well. 
um, but they want to communicate. This has been coming up very, very um, strongly lately, and it's becoming out quite a bit. Um, we are triggering each other. Um, absolutely, you trigger each other, and that is the healing process. So as you go through these hurdles, um, there's some uncomfortable energy. There could be um, uncontrollable crying, or there could be uncontrollable happiness. I feel like the masculine is getting into a blissful state. It's not always sustainable all the time. You can't walk around with 100% bliss 100% of the time, but they're feeling very happy with their new, newly discovered self. Um, so you may, you may be feeling that blissfulness. Um, this is a very, very good one. It, it really, it really, really did, does depict the, the story of this journey. I, re I regret that I hurt you. I wasn't ready to face myself, so I ran. So that's absolutely true. I'll give you an example. When I came into my beautiful, beloved soul, before we, we went into our physical separation or distance stage, um, there was often verbiage that was said, what do you see in me? Like, what do you actually see in me? And, you know, I need to get my life together and I need to do all sorts of things. I think that's what happened. Um, when we came in and I had a lot of things I needed to work on as well um, And that's that trigger and that's not being able to face what you need to do at that time There's so much and sometimes it's easier to run than to face up to the trauma I want to say the demons the poison all sorts of things, you know, and I feel like Addiction is one of those things that the masculine was not ready to face up to substance abuse and substance abuse to me, there's a reason why they call it substance abuse, because it, it puts abuse on your body. It can put, it can turn you into an abusive person when you're not. Um, addiction can do all sorts of uh, messed up things to a person's soul, and their soul becomes soulless and almost lifeless. So um, maybe that was one of those things that they didn't want to share with you. But you know, divine feminine, you absolutely know. And let go of the negative thoughts. I feel the energy. So, as I've always said, it's natural um, to feel this way. It's a roller coaster ride of emotions. You're up, you're down, you're, you know, all over the place. Don't beat yourself up. Get back to that loving heart space and balance your energy and, and get back to that um, peace and, and restoration and liberation of you. So the last two messages I have for you beautiful souls are don't fear the current changes. All is in ha happening in accordance with your divine plan. The, the current events are paving the way to a brighter future. Love illuminates all darkness. Remain positive and light. And for me, um, the koala spirit, spirit has a plan. Um, it, it is absolutely true. Don't fear the current changes. Embrace on to them. Hold them. Those changes are meant to bring you to a place of betterment. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Trust in the healing powerful power of love. For it is only through love that happiness is possible. Observe all that transpires, but don't get emotionally attached. The storm will clear. You can be of assistance to the one you love, only if you remain positive. It's ironic how these both, both these, these cards fell out because both messages are the same message with a slightly different message and it's remain positive and light and remain positive positive and love brings you to the most beautiful destinations anger and darkness just keeps you stuck so that's what i have for your beautiful souls today if any of this resonates uh, please subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this hit the like button comment love to hear your comments and i want to wish you all a beautiful, beautiful day.